It's funny, it was kind of like the opposite. If I've said my headache is now cured, you'd be pleased to know. <laughs> I, don't have a, I don't have a headache anymore. Okay, Althea, I think your experience was, was quite different because you t tested the mind spa, mm. right? And what was interesting you mentioned to me was that you, you had a, a, a headache before. Mm. How, how bad was the headache? Yes. Yeah, it was, it was quite a bad headache. And I was thinking, oh dear, I hope it doesn't... Okay. Sorry, can you hear me clearly? Yeah. So it was quite a bad headache, but it wasn't quite a migraine. But I was thinking, oh, I hope it doesn't develop further into a migraine. Um, so I was sitting there and throughout the session and was hoping that it would kind of like go away, but it wasn't. And then when I did the mind spa, I wasn't even thinking about the headache. I was just, just kind of like going through the whole motions of it all. And at the end, when I took off the headphones, I was like, oh, got no headache now <laughs> and realized that the headache had actually gone okay so. mm. and so and i'd had the headache all day <laughs> you, you had the headache all day. all day and so this mindset it seems helps you to relax mm. be calmer mm. and headache is gone mm. wow isn't that interesting yeah, was, was did that surprise you yeah, yeah i was i was really surprised i was okay. like oh my goodness where's my headache <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, okay so, uh, that was definitely a good thing yeah. okay well thank you for your time right, thank all right. you. on the screen you see um, an MRI scan. And this, this was quite surprising for me. This is Fiona's brain when she's not doing meditation, when her mind is just wandering. And I'll just explain a bit about wandering. I don't know how many of you have this kind of experience. You are doing something, but your mind is somewhere else. You are doing something and, and your mind is somewhere else. That's an example of the mind wandering. You are driving in your car, your mind is in ten, 10 places, trying to resolve 10 things. That's an example of, of the wandering mind. So this is, this is her brain, when she's just leaving her mind to wander. This is the, the MRI scan of her brain when she is relaxing. Now, what they said was that, that th those lighted areas, there's areas of the brain that are experiencing the pain. Um, so that's what that is showing. That was the, what the MRI scan was showing. And so what does this suggest? She was still... She was still experiencing the pain when she does the, um, the calming techniques. Um, for her particularly, she was doing the mindfulness, um, compassionate mindfulness technique. That idea was, is to, to do something to feel compassionate. Yes, it's not necessarily the wandering mind that's making her experience pain. But the idea is that the wandering mind actually builds up stress. Now, if she has pain already, the stress it builds up causes the pain to be more difficult to manage. Now, in stress, the two main chemicals or hormones that are often implicated, one hormone called adrenaline and the other cortisol, and both work on the principle of providing the body with the energy it needs to, to deal with threats or stresses. Cortisol levels tend to rise gradually in our system. Now, cortisol is a very, very important hormone. And the current suggestion is that without cortisol, we will simply die. So cortisol is essential to help to activate us. But the problem comes when there's too much cortisol in the system. How does cortisol or stress affect our immune system? Recent research studies now suggest that cortisol tends to shorten the lifespan and degrades the productivity of cells. In other words, stress can be destructive to our cells, making us grow older quicker. If you're looking for evidence of this, all you just have to do is look at the effect of stress on American presidents. Stress makes us grow older quicker. But really what's happening is cortisol is causing cells to die quicker and be less productive. And there are a number of research studies that are proving this now. Now, what I have here is a, an image of the brain. So this bit uh, often looks like a cabbage. Um, is a prefrontal cortex. Now, this is the area of the brain that is responsible for logical thinking, um, planning, organizing, um, reading through things that you are trying to understand. A very important point to make here is that in depression, because of the stress and pressure that people experience, there's a lot of damage in this area of the brain.
this is experience as that kind of fogginess that you get uh, that kind of sense of not being able to focus and concentrate and um, not being able to think clearly so essentially what i'm saying here is that many times we have to go through things that we can't do anything about situations that we are that, that are outside our control so whilst we're facing life difficulties allowing stress to take hold on us can be likened to carrying a weight that is twice our size whilst having a boxing match with an enemy invariably this means that the resources we have for coping becomes naturally depleted because our co cognition has been sabotaged by stress our immunity has been sabotaged by stress ability to function activate ourselves has been sabotaged by stress so coping becomes so much difficult now if we can turn this around and find a way to lower the cortisol levels in our system this increases the space we have for coping allowing us to to cope better with pressures and stresses that life throws at us hi judah hi wale <laughs> yeah just quickly to to ask uh, we've done a number of exercises today and i think the first one we did um there was an interesting outcome just yeah. can you just tell me a bit about that yeah my my card was green and, we did and the what the green mean and the the green meant slightly stressed and after the exercise i touched again and it came blue it became blue how yeah. did you feel about that that change what what sense did that make for you yeah it pretty it felt pretty good because I felt more calm. Okay. Yeah, than I was before. Yeah, the yeah. the exercise I did everything that you said. Yeah. And I I made up a picture in my mind. Okay. Yeah. I pictured that I was floating through the sky going into heaven. Okay. And I was walking on the street of gold and everywhere was as bright and and it looked like what do you call it now? Like diamonds, everything around was right. so nice. So the exercise was powerful enough to take you to that kind of peaceful yes, place. Yes, I felt peaceful and safe. And yeah. Yeah. Were you surprised about the color change? I was. Of the color? I, I didn't expect it to change. You didn't expect it to all. change no, at all? No, okay, I, right. So I didn't think that it would have calmed me that much, but it did. And the exercise, how long did it take, roughly? Uh, about... 10 minutes about 10 it? minutes so yeah. a 10 minutes exercise was able to take you down a notch stress wise yes it did. that's really interesting yeah. okay thank it you did. very much oh you're welcome <laughs> oh hi yvonne hi 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 Wally. yeah yeah okay just wanted to ask you a, li a little bit about the experience of the relaxation strategies yes. we we mm -hmm. did today how did you find the relaxation strategies anyway? um i was surprised um when I took the, the first impression of the card, the stress card, the that? card, the okay. stress card, um, it was green. Was green. Yes. Showing slightly Which stress. Which indicated that okay. I, I was slightly stressed. Okay. Not aware that I was slightly stressed. You were not aware that you were slightly no, stressed. No. Okay. I always thought, think that I'm a calm person, okay. calm, placid person. But it was amazing with the, with exercise when um, my thoughts were diverted. You know, to something else, something more pleasant. Okay. Um, something had nothing to do with the Monday things that perhaps was going on in my mind. Okay. And I was surprised when I do the test again. It was blue. Yeah. And that's uh, within just 10 minutes, isn't it? Yeah. 10 minutes of it doing was, exercise. It just changed. It just I changed, changed down to yeah. blue. Right. And it, it shows you that, that when I get stressed at home, if I divert my thinking to something more pleasant, something more calmer, my stress level could come down. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Were you surprised to see the change on, on the car? Yeah, I was surprised. Okay. I was expecting that it would remain the same, you know, what it was when right. I took it first. But um, I was surprised that it changed. Okay. So thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. <laughs>